Back to the heavyweight division we go. Ante Dalia out of Croatia. Chandler Cole from the United States. There is the wrestler Chandler Cole, hails out of Virginia. Tough kid who's been making his name on the Northeast circuit. And uh, looking to get an upset here against Dalia. Took this fight on a week and a half notice, but he said he fought a month ago and he was waiting for a call. D'Elia out of Croatia. He's got uh, six knockouts to his credit, seven submissions, very well-rounded fighter, a lot of great skills he brings to this cage. He's disappointed in the first outing and getting the knockout, or suffering the knockout, rather, for Capalozzo. So he definitely wants to make showing, get himself into the playoffs, and he's got to push the action on him. Yeah, that fight against Bruno Capalozzo, not really indicative of the skill set of Ante D'Elia. This is a guy who's extremely well-rounded. During the pandemic layoff that we all took, everybody wanted this guy. Everyone was trying to steal him from the Professional Fighters League, and there's a reason for that. He's here, and he's got a shot at a playoff spot if he can get a fast enough finish. But Bruno Capaloza and Goldsoff and Jamel Jones have made that tough. Tail the tape here. Ante D'Elia is three years younger. He is also seven inches taller. Four-inch arm reach advantage. Chandler Cole with a two-inch advantage on the legs. He also outweighs his opponent by 22 pounds, which with a wrestling pedigree, a wrestling background like Chandler Cole, that might come into play in this fight. We will see how it plays out. And now Lillian Garcia introduces our fight. Fight fans, we now take you back to the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler. Standing at 5'10", he officially weighs in at 262 pounds. In 10 professional belts, he has a record of eight wins and only two losses, with eight victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Coburn, Virginia, here is Chandler the Hammer. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he specializes in judo. Standing at 6'5", he officially weighs in at 239 and one quarter pounds. In 21 professional bouts, he has a record of 17 wins and four losses, with 13 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, here is Ante Walking Trouble. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Ante D'Elia in the blue trunks, a heavy favorite, more of a known commodity. Chandler Cole, as Kenny mentioned, coming out of the regional scene in the black and gray, representing the United States. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight. Touch of the gloves, and we are underway. Three five-minute rounds at heavyweight. Chandler Cole. Blitzing in behind an overhand right. Maybe that strategy informed by what he saw from Bruno Capelosa, Randy. That's a possibility. I'm sure he studied that tape. Let's see what he could glean. There's a single leg, nice outside single. Let's see if he can finish it. Dalia doing a nice job of countering. Gets the underhook. Pulls Cole back up chest to chest. Always an interesting matchup when you get a judoka against a wrestler here in the clinch. Nice shot attempt by Cole, but those underhooks from D'Elia thwarted that attempt. You gotta be real careful with the judo players, giving them a bunch of forward energy. They will take that energy and give you some frequent flyer miles. Oh, There's the wrestler oh. with the salto. D'Elia counters it nicely. Goes to work with the right hand. Little tight waist position here for Ante D'Elia. Those are big right hands. Cole trying to get wrist control and get back to his feet. Cole not willing to concede. He's going to keep that quarter position high. 
Dalia going to try and punch him and talk him out of it. <laughs> Dalia controlling the left hand of Chandler Cole. Now improving his position, making Cole wear his weight. Looks like Ante Delia is trying to pass his hands. Ooh, knee to the body. <laughs> Those will make you change your mind about being in that position in yeah. a real hurry. And that's really what Delia is doing such a good job of. He's not just trying to get control of the position. He's staying busy with his ground and pound, getting Cole to be worried about both position and punches. Delia floating over the top, changing positions, landing strikes and punishment where he can. Worked out to this front headlock position, and now he goes back, trying to control the hips a little bit. Cole trying to crowd against the cage oh, here. He's got one hook in. This is not good for, for Cole. D'Elia has seven submissions to his credit in his fight career, so he definitely knows what he's doing here. He needs to get that second hook in. Cole's going to reverse him. Great escape there by Cole. Drops down, trying to lock his hands together for a double leg here. Ante D'Elia is able to get Cole's left arm off of him for now. D'Elia doing a good job of getting Where wrist control, guys? getting those underhooks. Oh, head outside single by Cole. D'Elia's gonna pop right back up, though. Picked him up and slammed him. D'Elia didn't like that, jumped right back to his feet. Now he's got the double underhooks in the body lock. Works his way around to the back of Chandler Cole. He's able to force Cole down to the ground here. 90 seconds remain in round number one. More right hands for Monte D'Elia. There's oh. Bruno Capaloza. That one's landing on the ear, the right hand. These big boys are generating some power in short spaces tonight. Those are big shots from D'Elia. He goes to work with the left hand. Cole with a nice reversal. Wow. They've had some awesome exchanges. I mean, not a whole lot of people will be able to escape some of these positions here. Cole doing a great job of fighting through it, staying calm. Cole has 55 seconds left to get himself a stoppage. Otherwise, he is out of the playoff picture now. He's still fighting for a win to impress Ray Sefo, to potentially secure himself in future seasons. But the playoffs could be out of sight in only 40 seconds for Chandler Cole. Ante D'Elia now on top and pounding away. Right hand pistoning down and the left instead. 28 seconds. D'Elia trying to find a way to get the referee to stop this. Peterson waves it off. Ante D'Elia with a first round finish. Good for six points. And he needed that. And that six points now puts the pressure on Brandon Sales, Whoa. who's got five from his second round finish in his first fight. He will face off with Dennis Goldsoff later tonight. Ante D'Elia, uh, coming off a loss by via first round knockout, gets his own first round TKO. Very impressive. Take a look at the Cajunomic Stats Bundle presented by Geico. Cole did a great job, but it was Ante D'Elia on top and some heavy strikes there as measured by the Smart Cage. Official when we return. Complete inside the cage. Ante D'Elia 
with a nice TKO finish over Chandler Cole. Nice salto, double overhook salto by Cole. Delia will have none of it. Doesn't concede the takedown, scrambles sure. back up, gets to a good ground and pound position, making Cole pay for the attempt. Yeah, and you could see his sense of urgency to start this fight. He wasn't just chipping away, just trying, you know, to keep control. He was really trying to hurt Cole from the get-go. These were brutal shots, and Cole showed how tough he was to hang in there, and he actually escaped from some pretty tough spots. Nice back and forth grappling exchanges, but Ante D'Elia started to pour it on from the top here, Randy. And here's the inexperience, I think, of Cole. I don't think he was hurt, but you cannot just lay and cover your head. That's not an intelligent defense. And the referee thought so too, and stepped in and stopped the fight here. Keith Peterson said, defend yourself, gave him a warning. A few punches later, he steps in to wave it off. It's his job to protect you. That was a good stoppage, yep. And Cole acknowledged it. You, you saw no protest from him when Keith Peterson stepped in to wave it off. Ante D'Elia, six points for a first round finish. Let's take a look at our fighter performance rating presented by Rich Energy. The only way to get a full 100 out of 100 is to get a finish inside of that round. And Ante D'Elia did just that. And with that, we go to Lillian Garcia. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at four minutes and 39 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO and earning six points in the heavyweight division, Ante 